Next question is, hey, Fritz, can you use conversational hypnosis in regular convo? And the answer to that is a very quick Yes, you can. And if you're thinking, so you're going to manipulate people into doing what you want, the that is such bullshit information that we can do that. Um, and here's why. So first of all, I'm going to answer the question of, can you use conversational hypnosis in a regular conversation? And because in, in our particular conversational hypnosis method, we really, really focus on casualness. When we teach our students this method, we say, okay, have, ask your clients a question and have a conversation based on how you would normally talk to your friends and family. So right now I am talking like this and I actually talk like this with my clients inside my sessions. I'm not trying to be all hypnotic with my voice. I'm not trying to be very, very weird with my eyes like what I'm trying to do here so awkward like how I would approach a regular conversation is how I would with a client and really making it therapeutic in that sense because we know the types of questions to ask it's very strategic but in a nutshell we are um being the, a person who is just a human being having a conversation so yes um, it can be definitely used in normal conversation. However, inside our conversational hypnosis trainings, we do um, say weird things <laughs> with our clients, meaning we echo our clients' unconscious expressions, which sometimes can feel or sound very weird in a normal conversation. So we have process instructions, with, which are very Ericksonian in nature, where if we find an unconscious moment, we then say, that's right. And so when we do that in a normal conversation, that is a bit odd, right? So there are definitely some things that cannot be used in normal conversation, but being able to just ask questions and being curious is definitely um, a way that we can start utilizing it with our own conversations. I definitely have fun with this. The curiosity is very, very awesome. I've had great conversations with complete strangers just by knowing how to ask questions in curiosity and having really deep conversations if the person is willing to do this. And so the other thing that I mentioned earlier about how we can not like it's bullshit to manipulate people into getting what, what we want out of them. Um, as humans, we have um, a very, very stubborn unconscious mind. So unless the unconscious mind is willing to do that, we cannot really force people what to do because we we don't like being told what to do. We, we, we know this, right? And so... Um, you know, when we say someone attempts to have a conversation with someone and they just are not willing to converse, right? That is, you know, they're Im they're implicitly saying that they don't want to have a conversation. But am I, I'm, have, I'm having a conversation with someone completely new who is, um, who, and someone who is very open to a conversation and I'm just asking them questions and they're answering the questions and they're enjoying the moment, then that can be a really deep, profound way that we can just connect with others because, you know, we, we need, we do, a lot of us do crave this deep connections, uh, these deep connections these days with others. And so by applying the conversation hypnosis principles of really getting deep, deeply connected with our clients, we can also do that with regular people in our daily lives. And we can really also make an impact this way because we're not trying to manipulate. We're really just having a conversation and someone can withdraw a conversation anytime they want. So I hope this made sense and it sounds very exciting. That's why I love the conversational me hypnosis method so much because uh, it's very applicable to daily life and you start becoming the person who is just normally um, hypnotic and normally therapeutic. So I hope this helped. Let me know if you have any questions at all. Otherwise, I will see you soon. Let's make a massive impact together one conversation at a time.